Let's set up our audio card in Reason. Go to Preferences and click the Audio tab. Chances are we're staying in standard tuning 440 Hz. If you ever want to experiment with 432 or something like that, you could change it here. Keep in mind this changes the tuning of everything, drums and all. Make sure your audio card is selected. And always make sure your audio card is updated with the latest drivers and firmware. Next, we can pick our sample rate. Most of the time, you can leave this at 44.1 unless the project you're working on demands something higher. Below that, we have the buffer size. This allows us to control how much latency there is in our system. When I say latency, put very simply, it means the time delay from the time I hit the key to the time I hear a sound. As the buffer size goes down, the latency goes down, but your computer has to work a lot harder. Try to find a happy medium where it still works okay without the buffer size being too low to hinder performance. Next, we can activate and deactivate the inputs and outputs on our audio card. It's best to only activate the inputs you're going to use as having them active eats up processing power. If you find the audio recordings are coming in too early or too late compared to your instrument tracks, you can try adjusting the recording latency compensation. That's enough for now to get going. You're all set up to start playing around in Reason.